everybody so today I'm going to be explaining what you need to do what you need to look out for when you first get a new pair of roller skates if you're a complete beginner then this should be a little bit helpful for you I'll explain what you should look for and the different parts of the skates so I just picked up these on Facebook marketplace so hopefully you know if you're looking to do the same and you don't want to spend a load of money on a brand new pair of Impala roller skates or an expensive brand Go on Facebook Marketplace, eBay, Gumtree, all of the above, and just look for your size of roller skate. So just a couple of things. I like to look for the skates that have the lace loops on. There will be a few skates out there on the cheaper range that don't have the loops, that just have the holes. Um, they're okay too, but I personally prefer these ones because they really support your ankle. The next thing is you're gonna have all sorts of different types. So you get plastic trucks underneath, these are plastic uh, with some metal there, or you can get metal ones, or you can get all plastic ones. Doesn't really matter, especially if you're a beginner, just as long as they fit your feet. And these do come with a toe stop. Sometimes skates don't come with a toe stop. If you're just starting out, it might not make a difference. I prefer with the toe stop because I like to do jumps and tricks with the toe stop. Um, but I am going to get another pair of skates without the toe stop so I can do more roller dance and freestyle. I bought these from a lady who said she wasn't getting the hang of the roller skates, she's only worn them a few times. And now I think that could be because... Can you see that? The wheels, they're so tight that they don't actually roll, so she'll be putting so much effort into making these roll. So the first thing we're going to do is loosen the wheels a little bit. Now when you first get a pair of skates, they're probably going to be quite tight. So what you want to do is, I have a T-tool um, from Skate Hut, and what we're going to do is just loosen them up a bit. So you can actually use just a pair of pliers or um, something that... You know, as long as you can turn it, it doesn't really matter. So, if we go just a quick 90 degrees, test it out. Oh, perfect, look at that. See how much spin that had? And that was from only twisting it a little bit. When you've loosened them, you don't want them to be too loose, so just give it a little shake, as long as you're not hearing, um, I'll just show you actually. So if it's too loose, it'll sound like, like this, and the wheel will move, so you don't want that, okay? So we'll just tighten that back up. Um, but yeah, you want it to be about, about that loose. This is the loose skate, this is the tight one. So if I roll them at the same time, you'll see the difference. Okay, so now all our wheels spin really well. So they'll be much easier to skate in. The next thing we're gonna look at is the trucks underneath. Now, if you are a super, super beginner, don't worry about this too much because you'll just be getting used to standing on your skates, rolling and stopping. However, keep watching because soon enough you will be interested in what this is for as well. So, I've loosened this one already just to be able to show you, but when you start to use your edges, so for example doing three turns, going round corners, as you put pressure on the foot, the wheels, if you can see that, they will sort of move a bit like this the more pressure you put on they'll be going towards the edges now if the trucks are too tight your wheels will not move at all on the on the edges okay so I've just loosened them a little bit this one's still tight so that doesn't move at all if you can see that this is the one that I've loosened as you can see I can bend in the skate you don't want to make it too loose that the underneath part of the skate actually touches your wheel so once you get into your edges just make sure it's loose enough that you can lean into them without it touching the last thing you want to look at is the wheels on your actual skates now these are 54 32 millimeters and I actually am going to put rubber wheels on these big thick rubber wheels for outside because I want to wear these outside and I'll use my other skates for inside with the nice plastic hard wheels. Um, 
But again, if you're a beginner, really don't worry too much about the wheels. Uh, if you're practicing in a little space, in your kitchen, for example, the wheels that come on your skates will be fine. And I'll do another video to go through all the different wheels, explaining the sizes, the hardness, and what you could use them for. So thank you everybody for watching the video. This is the end. Hopefully I've explained most of your questions that you might have about getting a new pair of skates. As I say, these were just from Facebook Marketplace, so you can definitely do the same and you'll be fine skating on those for at least a few months up to a year. So yeah, good luck. If you have any more questions, comment below and I'll get back to you and have a good time skating.